forgotten okay he forgotten it why do you not accompany us to perform the hajj the woman replied we have only two camels my husband and son gone to hajj okay with one camel his husband uh, her, her husband and son went to hajj on the other we use it for the household chores we transport water etc on it allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam stated when ramadan comes perform umrah its reward is equal to the hajj and this is in muslim so it doesn't mean that you know they are exempt from the doing hajj but you know when you perform umrah at the time of ramadan it is equal in, in reward to hajj but some people they misunderstand and they they say if we do umrah we have to do hajj compulsory make a niya make a intention at least go in ramadan time for the umrah and inshallah allah will make your way for the hajj too but it doesn't mean that you are exempt and you have to do the hajj too so here uh, we have seen in the hadith that it's mentioned clearly she has to like you know if she does this that is the equivalent of hajj on the day of judgment fast will intercede for the person who observe it subhanallah the fasting what we are doing in ramadan time this fasting we are talking about ramadan fasting okay so here abdullah bin amr radiyallahu anhu narrates that allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam stated fast and quran will intercede for the servant on the day of judgment what fast and quran these two thing will intercede on the day of judgment fast will state oh my lord i have prevented this servant from eating and drinking and from satisfying his desire hence accept my intercession for him do you have to understand you know when we fast even though everything is halal halal but we stop ourselves we don't eat anything and we don't say anything which is not appropriate and also we stop ourselves from husband wife relationship which is halal otherwise but in the time of fasting we stop ourselves and quran will state oh my lord i have prevented this servant from from sleeping in the night for worship you know when we want to sleep sleep is sometimes you know some people they can't stop sleeping that is their um, problem they can't overcome but uh, quran will say intercede and will say no i you know they they recited quran in the night too hence accept my intercession for him accordingly intercession of both will be accepted transmitted by ahmad and tabrani so here when we see the wordings and abdullah ibn umar radiyallahu anhu and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam qaal as-siyam wal quran yashfani li ab li abdi yawm al qiyamah this two things siyam and quran will yashfani do the sifaj do the intercept yawm al qiyamah yaqul as-siyam ay rabbi mana'atuhu ta'ama wa shahwa you know uh, siyam will say fasting will say he stopped himself from ta'am you know eating and and wa shahwa you know all i mention about shahwa like you know all the pleasures like whatever we want to do especially we are talking about here sexual desire and it will for uh, for shifa it will shifa fihi for them by yaqul al quran and quran will say mana'atuhu naum i stopped them from sleeping bil layli wa shafani fi and i will intercede because they stop sleep and they recited quran in this you know when we do tahajjud time not only doing reciting the quran also re- reciting in your salah nawafil and these two will be intercede by the will of allah subhanahu wa taala let's see the next hadith inshallah the reward for fasting is immeasurable like in, like you know you can't measure it it's going to be that much abu hurairah radiyallahu anhu narrates that allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam stated the reward for every good deed of a person is increased by 10 to 700 times according to the intention and sincerity but in respect of reward for fasting allah proclaims fasting is for me and i myself shall bestow and reward the person who fast forgoes his desires eating and drinking 
for my sake he will be entitled to two kinds of delight you know now two kinds of delight what are they one at the time of breaking the fast isn't it when we break the fast how we feel happy and the other at the time of meeting his lord inshallah allah's messenger further sallallahu alaihi wasallam further stated the order of the mouth of a person who fast is more pleasing to allah you know when you fast you feel that because you're not eating you have that order but what allah says that order is so pleasing to allah than the aroma of musk he further states fast act as a shield against sinful acts fasting is act as a shield against sinful acts therefore when any person is fasting he should avoid obscene and absurd language you know bad language foul language inappropriate things and also language and gestures if anyone uh, abuses him or quarrels you know sometimes some people they come and quarrel you are in fasting with him he should say i am fasting this is in bukhari and muslim so we have seen few things just uh, let me remind you first what we learned here in this hadith it's a longer hadith narrated by abu hurairah radhiyallahu anhu so here it's meant that kullu amali ibn adam lahu illa siyam all the things what we are doing is for himself like uh, it, ibn adam means all of the people illa siyam except siyam is for who fa innahu ila it this is for our rab this is for our allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wana ajri bihi was siyam jannah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says for siyam for fasting i will give jannah and fa iza kana yawm as-sawm ahadikum fala yarfautu yawma idhin wala yakhtasab fa inna bihu ahadan and you know when somebody when they are fasting how they should stop themselves from the things which is forbidden for us inni imra'un siyam wallazi nafsum and you know when you are fasting you should tell i am fasting and then here also uh, said you know uh, when who is fasting min rihi misk you know the mouth order is like a misk riya misk li siyami farhatani and those two happiness are they farhatani is dual you know those who understand arabic it's when farha farhatani yafrahuma and they will happy what is a aftara fariha first is when we do iftar that is fariha bi fatrihi wa iza lakhiya rabbahu when we meet our rab allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for farihas bi saum and this is rawahu muslim so So here in ayah number one forty two, say Yakulun as Sufaha min al Nasi ma wallahum an qiblati hum allati kano alaiha kull lillahi al Mashriqu wal Maghrib yahdi ma yasha ila siratin mustaqim. The foolish among the people will say, What has turned them away from the qibla which they used to observe? Say to Allah belong the east and the west. He guides whom he wills to straight path. Here, when the sayakulun is sufha min al nas, the foolish among the people will certainly say, "What has turned the believers away from qibla, which they used to face?" So here, Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "Kol say, Lillahi mashrika wal maghrib to Allah belongs the east and the west. He guides whom he wills to straight path." In the previous uh, section of Surah Al Baqarah, in the first section of Surah Al Baqarah, we learn about you know. bani israil and other nations here the you know change of the qibla many people they started believing and many people they gone astray 
so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam remained in makkah for 13 years after that prophethood upon hijra to madina he was instructed to face to baitul maqaddas in prayer which was the qibla of yahud Re- remember that yahud used to live in madina however after about 16 months or so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was ordered to face kaaba during salat so now this is something like uh, that bothered the yahud of madina a lot and what happened they raised much propagation against muslims so allah revealed this ayah these ayahs and you know prepared the believers that foolish among the people will certainly criticize you they will certainly mock at you they will say what has turned them away from qibla they used to face how come they used to um, face bait al maqaddas before and now they are facing kaaba what should your response be so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying say lillahi mashriq wal maghrib to allah belongs the east and west all direction have been created by who by allah and he can order us to face any direction and that he wants and here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the means for guidance to many people as i mentioned before yahdi man yasha ila sirat al mustaqim he guides whom so ever he wills to a straight path so this was a major change the shift of the qibla from uh, bait al maqaddas to kaaba was a major change and the fact is that every person's life various occurs you know we have various changes in our life big or small you know to accept that change we need lot of courage isn't it and now many people they started believing and many people they started disbelieving and the next ayah 143 we see that wa kazalika jalnakum ummatul wasad in the same manner in the same way me we made you moderate umma community so that you should be witness over the people and the messenger a witness to you shahada ala nasi wa yakunu rasulu alaikum shahida Uh, messenger is witness to you and we did not did not prescribe the qibla which you used to observe except to know the one who follows the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam as distinct from the one who turns on his heel you know those who follow the messenger and who turns away allah knows about them uh, it was burdensome indeed but not on those whom allah guided you know for some people it was very burdensome for them it's like kanat la kabiratan illa ala allazina hadallah to whom allah guided and allah will not allow your faith to go waste you know allah is saying wa ma kana allah li yudi'a imanukum your iman won't get waste inna allah certainly allah is very kind very merciful to the people inna allah min nasi la raufur rahim so here there is a huge responsibility on our shoulders like a wasat wasat means what this is the middle the umma which is in middle meaning wasat the connection between allah and my, mankind meaning it is our duty as a muslim umma to convey allah's messenger to the message to the people and call people towards allah you know we should invite people towards the quran and the sunna and we should tell others also what book we are following and what a beautiful religion it is and let's move to the ayah number 150 inshallah 150 here when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about you know here in ayah number 150 wa min haythu kharajta fawalli wajhaka shatril masjidil haram and from wherever you set out turn your face in the direction of the sacred mosque al masjid al haram o muslims wherever you are turn your face in its direction so that people should have no argument against you except for those among them who are unjust do not fear them but fear me and so i should perfect my blessings upon you and that you may take the right path here in i number 150 we see like wherever you are you know which country which place doesn't matter you have to what you have to wamin hai su kharajta fawalli wajhaka shatrul masjid al haram towards the masjid al haram why wa hai su ma kuntum fawallu wujuhakum shatra yalla yakunu lin nasi alaikum hujjatum illa allazina zalamu minhum you know but you know wherever you are turn your face in its direction so that people should have no argument no hujja illa allazina zalamu but those who wrong themselves minhum fala taqshawhum 
Don't fear them. Don't talk show. Min hum fala talk show hum bala waq shawni and Allah is saying waq shawni fear me. Well, utimma niyamata alaykum and I have completed the niyamah. What is niyamah? This deen complete. And he says, Alaikum wa la allakum tahtadun. So that we are guided. Allah is saying, so that you are rightly guided. I am guiding you so that you will be rightly guided. And in ayah number 154, Bal ahya'an. And do not say about those who are killed in the way of Allah that they are. Uh, the, they are given a different life in a different place it does not mean their souls are roaming around in this world not it means they are alive in another world in a different place bal ahya means balakinna la tashkurun in ayah number 154 do not say of those who are slain like you know those who are dead in the way of Allah that they are dead instead they are alive but you do not perceive you know those who are shaheed, they are like chirping, bird in, uh, chirping birds like uh, in the Jannah. So here in ayah number 160, we see uh, illa lazina tabu. Those who do illa lazina tabu wa aslahu wa bayinu fa ulaika atubu alayhim wa ana attawabu rahim. Here those who repent and correct and declare what they used to conceal their repentance accept by me I am the most relenting and most merciful. So what if we do mistake ask forgiveness and Allah is going to forgive your mistakes. And in ayah number 166 we see like and they should consider that when they when those who have been followed dissociate themselves from those who followed them they also see the punishment and cut off from all their ties of relationship. In I number mm, 160 Imagine the time when those who were followed with disown their followers and they all will see the punishment and the bonds between them will be cut. Like you know right, right now we hold on strong to the bonds of love that we have other people. But we cling to them. We are willing to compromise our services to Allah in our services to the creation. But what we see here on the day of judgment, all the bonds, they will be broken. And if we have been ser uh, serving the creation, then will benefit will the creation bring us that day. No, all the relationship will be cut off. Like, you know, asbab. So we should remember that. Only that day Allah will help us. In ayah number 171, The example of calling those disbelievers is such as someone is shouting at the animal that hears nothing. Isn't it? If you shout at the animal, uh, does animal hears you like, you know, horde of goats and you're saying, you're pushing and you're shouting at them that, that way. Nida and Summon Bukmun Omyun Fahumla Ya Filun. But Allah says they are deaf, dumb, and blind, so they do not understand. Here, what is that? You know, cattle or sheep. Because cattle or sheep, then they are being called what they hear. Just sound, just cries. So likewise, there are some people here hears the Quran, but they understand nothing from the Quran. What they understand, just the sound, just the sounds of the Quran. The Quran does not enter their hearts. It does not impact their heart. It does not move their heart. It does not increase them in the love, in the khashya of Allah. So they are like summun bukman amyun means deaf, dumb and blind. Say So they do not understand. It means they are not literal deaf and dumb. But whatever the faculties they have given, they are not using it. When you don't use it, it means like a, you are a dumb person. In ayah number 174, When those who conceal the book, Allah has revealed and earned there by a small price. They eat nothing into their bellies but fire. And because Al-Kitab, Bayashtaruna Biha, Samanan Khalila. 
ulai ka ma ya kuluna fi butunihim illa nar wala yukallimu humullaha yawmal qiyama wala yuzakkihim wala hum azabun azim allah will not speak to them on the day of judgment nor will he purifies them and for them there is painful punishment so here who is that allah will not speak to the day of judgment those who conceal the truth those who conceal the haq who conceal the book of allah and the laws that has revealed and there are some other people also whom allah will not speak to who amongst them for example you know an aged man an old man who commit zina a ruler who lies and proud poor persons meaning he is needy yet he is proud and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said that among those people whom allah will not speak to are a person who has extra water and he is on journey there is a person who is thirsty and he needs water but he does not give it to him and he has extra water somebody is thirsty and still you are hiding and you are not giving it you know just give it to them make your big heart you know like was a person who gives the pledge of allegiance to a imam accept someone as their leader give it to only for the worldly benefits if the imam gives him uh, what he wants he abides by the pledge otherwise he does not fulfill you know like you you, you say certain things you agree to and then you don't agree because he is not fulfilling the worldly things and thirdly a man who sells something to another man after the asr prayer and swear by allah that he has been offered so much for it whereupon the buyer believes him and buy it although in fact the seller has not offered such price you know what if some says you know i prayed so much money but he actually didn't do it he is just lying to sell the product that also and here let's move to aya number 180 kutiba alaikum so here in aya number 180 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says kutiba alaikum uh, is a hadara ahadukum al maut it is enjoyed upon you when death approaches any one of you and he leaves some wealth that he must bequeath for the parents and the nearest of kin in the approved manner being an obligation on the god fearing so here he should make a bequest you know wasiya he should make a will this will uh, when there was no law concerning uh, inheritance allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allotted a share of their heirs in surah an-nisa when we uh, like you know in surah an-nisa inshallah you going to see the details of the inheritance so here it's mentioned here kutiba here it's like ordained it's like mandatory alaikum upon you is a hadara one of you ahdakum al maut like you know when like death approaches in taraka khairan wasiyatu you have to do the wasiya and what it is lil walidaina wal aqrabin and then for the two parents like mother and father aqrabain like you know the relation of qurb the blood relation bil ma'ruf with the good haqqan this is truth alal muttaqin those who fear and we have seen the what is the definition of muttaqin in previous juz in ayah number 183 ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum siyamu kama kutiba alal ladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun like those people who believe kutiba this is like ordained it was made fardia it was mandatory alaykum upon you siyam siyam is from saum swad waw mean siyam that is you have to do the fast kama kutiba as before alal ladhina mean before qablikum before people also they have been ordered for the siyam la allakum tattaqun so that you adopt taqwa then what it means in ayaman madudat only few number days kana minkum maridan aw ala safarin and what are the things allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention here any one of you are sick or journey then what they should do min ayamin ukhar then fast later on wa alal ladina yutiqunahu fidyatun ta'am al miskin then you know number of the days equal to missed one whatever you missed you have to make that missed days later on and those who have strength you know yutiquna if you had that strength still they they do not opt for fasting on them there is a fidya you know you can't yutiquna like you you were not able to do it you don't have that much strength then you can give the fidya ta'amul miskin so what you going to do first thing ta'amul miskin faman tatawwa but still do not opt for on them there is a fidya compensation 
that is feeding to a poor person then whoever does voluntarily you know what if like you know khair they can tatawa is like a you know voluntarily you do good but huwa khair it is better for him lahu wa anta sumu khair and whoever does good voluntarily it's better for him however that you fast is better for you if you only know lakum in kuntum ta'lamun but if you fast it that is better for you and these this is the place where the uh, you know ahkamat of the fasting is mentioned and later in ayah number 185 also shahrul ramzan allazi unzila fihi alquran this is the month of ramadan in which quran was revealed but you may wondering oh quran was revealed in 23 years like but here it says unzila fihi alquran so when you go uh, depth of unzila nazzala yunazzilu tanzil gradual revelation of the quran but when we are talking about uh, unzila uh, alaykum quran this is talking about loh mahfuz which is the original copy with the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with this quran what we have hudal linnas this is for hudal linnas for all the mankind is the hidayah guidance and what it has bayinat clear signs min al huda and this is huda this is guidance for wal furqan furqan is what is from faraqa faraqa yafraqu distinguish between right and wrong faman shahida minkum whoever witnessed this month shahra we are talking about which month ramadan fal yasumu so those who witness the month must fast it's from siyam wa man kana maridan and whoever is marid whoever is you know sick awala safarin or on the journey min ayyamin ukhar then do it later yuridu allah bikum usr wa la yuridukum bikum al usr and allah wants ease not difficult and after that what you have to do like you know suppose you completed all your fast wa walituk milu it's from takmil you completed then iddata whatever the day you completed wala tu kabbirullah allah says now do proclaim the name of allah do the takbirat say allahu akbar ala ma hadakum why because allah guided you ma hadakum it's from hidayah wala allakum tashkurun so that you adopt shukr you be thankful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this ayah you know very important 186 186 wa iza sa'alaka ibadi fa inni qareeb when my servants ask you about me tell them i am very near and what it says ujiba da'wat da'i iza da'an i respond to the call of one he prays to me if you see grammatically uju ujibu da'wat da'i iza da'an it's like you know i'm talking to another person one to one and another person is answering to me one to one you know how the other person listen to you carefully and answer you that's how it's going to be and allah is listening to you and answering it to you to you one to one and have faith in me iza da'ani fal yastajibu i answer it's from jawab li wal yu'minu bihi la'allahum yarshudun in me so that they may be on the right path and then in ayah number 187 here uhilla lakum lailata siyam rafasa ila nisaikum it is made lawful for you in the nights of fast to have sex with your woman with your wife because you know in the uh, olden days they didn't have the hukum so they were privately going to their wives and having relationship but now clearly allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is said uhilla lakum in ayah number 187 it's clearly mentioned it is halal for you you can go to your wife and have the relationship and then after that it says hunna libasul lakum wa antum libasul lahunna you both are libas to each other you are garment to each other how you are garment because physically we are very close we are not close even to anyone else right even to our own parents but we are close to our spouse and libas is you know such a thing that covers you isn't it and even husband and wife are such way that they cover even some something may be lacking in your spouse you should hide that because it's a libas it's a honor for you you shouldn't start talking bad things about your spouse and then after that 
علم اللہ انکم کنتم تختانون انفسکم اللہ نوز دیٹ یو ہیو بین بٹرینگ یور سیلف سو ہی ریلینٹیڈ ٹوورڈز یو اینڈ پارڈن یو واٹ آئی مینشن بفور واٹ دے ویر تختانون واٹ قیانا دے ویر ڈوئنگ بیکاز بفور دے ڈین نو اباؤٹ دا حکم دیٹ دے کین گو ٹو وائف اینڈ دے دے ویر گوئنگ ٹو دیئر وائف دے ڈین نو سو سم ٹائمس دے ویر ڈوئنگ رانگ دیٹ تختانون اینڈ انفوسکم فار دیم اینڈ ناؤ اللہ سبحان اللہ تعالیٰ سے فتح بہ علیکم ناؤ ڈو دا توبہ و آف ان کم اینڈ آسک فار گیونس اینڈ اللہ ول فار گیو فل آن با شیرو ہن و تغو ما کتب اللہ اینڈ سیک اللہ ہیز ٹو اسٹینڈ فار یو اینڈ ایٹ اینڈ ڈرنک انٹل یو نو ناؤ یو ہیو یو کین ہیو سیکچوئل انٹیمیسی ود دیم اینڈ سیک واٹ اللہ ہیز ٹو اسٹینڈ اینڈ ہیئر وین یو سی تختانون انفسکم فتح با علیکم و آف ان کم فل آن با شیرو ہن و تغو ما کتب اللہ لکم و کلو و شربو اینڈ دین یو کین ہیو ریلیشن شپ یو کین گو اینڈ دین ایٹ اینڈ ڈرنک اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ ٹل واٹ ٹائم یتا بین لکم القیت البیدا من القیت الو الاسفل یو نو ٹل دا تھریڈ چینجز دا کلر یو نو وین یو سی دا فجر ٹائم ہاؤ اٹ ول بی من الفجر ٹل فجر سم اتم مسیام ناؤ یو ہیو ٹو کمپلیٹ یور سیام ٹل واٹ ٹائم لیل الا لائل ٹل دا نائٹ ایز انٹ اٹ ٹل دا سن سیٹ ولا تبا شیر ہن و ان تم آ کی فون اینڈ ناؤ ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اگین تبا شیر ہن اباؤٹ انٹیمیسی ریلیشن شپ ود دا ہسبینڈ اینڈ وائف سے اف یو آر آ کی فون اف یو آر ان اوکوف اف یو آر ان اعتکاف فل مسجد اٹ از ان مسجد اعتکاف ان دیئر فل مسجد ہی آر مینشن ان دا آیا یو کین سی تیل کا حدود اللہ دیز آر دا لمٹس آف اللہ لائک یو کانٹ ہیو ریلیشن شپ ناؤ بیکاز ہی از ان اعتکاف ان اعتکاف یو کانٹ ہیو ریلیشن شپ اینڈ واٹ ایلس تقربوہ کزال کا یو بن یون اللہ آیاتی ہی لنا سی لا اللہ یتفون سو ڈونٹ ہیو اینی ریلیشن شپ وین یو آر ان اوکوف اینڈ دیز آر دا لمٹس اینڈ ڈونٹ گو نیئر اینڈ دیز ہاؤ اللہ سبحانہ اللہ تعالیٰ کلیئرلی مینشن سو دیٹ یو ایڈاپٹ تخوا لیٹس موو ٹو دا آیا نمبر ٹو ہنڈریڈ ان آیا نمبر ٹو ہنڈریڈ then you have completed your hajj rights and here we see about the hajj rights when you completed your hajj before that also few more um, uh, re- relating to the hajj but inshallah when you do the uh, tafsir al-quran inshallah you can see in this you know surah al-quran just we are seeing the summary fiza qadaytum you know manasikukum once you have fulfilled your modes of worship in hajj recite the name of allah وَذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ كَذِكْرِكُمْ And now recite of name of Allah, do the zikr, آبَاؤُكُمْ You would speak of your forefathers or even with the greater fervor. Now among the people there is one who says, Our Lord give to us in this world and he has no share in the hereafter. You know now they were talking about Allahu آبَاؤُكُمْ وَأَشَدُّ ذِكْرَ And how about their forefathers? And they were saying, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ From the people, what they were saying, یقولنا ربنا آتنا فی دنیا دے ویر آسکنگ ون ہو سیز اور لارڈ گیو اس ان دس ورلڈ اینڈ واٹ از دا وما لہو فی الآخر من قلاق اینڈ دیر از نو شیئر ان دا ہیئر آفٹر دس از دا تھنگ دے ویر سینگ ان آئی نمبر ٹو ہنڈریڈ بٹ واٹ ہیپنس ان آئی نمبر ٹو ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ون و من ہوم مائی یا خولو یٹ دیر از این ادر امنگ دیم دا ادر پیپل دے سے سے ربنا آتینا فی الدنیا حسنا تو وکیل آخرتی حسنا تو وکینا عذاب النار او اور رب گیو اس گڈ ان دس ورلڈ اینڈ گڈ ان دا ہیئر آفٹر اینڈ سیو اس فرام دا پنشمنٹ آف ہیل فائر دس از اے بیوٹیفل دعا وی شوڈ ریمبر دس ایون وین وی گو فار دا حج وی ریسائڈ دس دعا سو ہیئر ان آیا نمبر ٹو ففٹین ول سی یس الون کا ماضا یونفیقون یو نو صحابہ وین ایور دے ڈو سا اعلیٰ دے ول آسک کویشچن دے آر ٹو ٹائپس آف کویشچنس اوکے ون وچ صحابہ آسک آؤٹ آف یو نو کنسرن آؤٹ آف نوئنگ دا نالج سو دیٹ دے کین امپلیمنٹ بٹ سم پیپل دیٹ مشرق اور منافق دے آسک کویشچن جس ٹو ماک بٹ دس واز دے ویر آسکنگ جس ٹو نو واٹ دے شوڈ اسپینڈ یس الون کا ماضا یون فیخون دے آسک واٹ دے شوڈ اسپینڈ قل ما انفق تم سی واٹ ایور گڈ یو اسپینڈ من خیر فل الوالدین والاقربین والیتاما واٹ ایور گڈ یو اسپینڈ شوڈ بی فار پیرنٹس کنس مین اورفنس دا نیڈی اینڈ دا وے فیئر 
والأقربين واليتامى والمساكين وابن السبيل وما تسألوا من خير فإن الله به أليم and the way favor whatever good you do Allah is aware of it so here Prophet ﷺ said Allah ordered the appointed angels over you that the good and the bad deeds will be returned then he taught the angels how to record the deeds if somebody intends to do good he does not do it then allah will write for him full good deed in his account with him but if he intends to do a good actually he did it then allah will write for him in his account with him its reward equal from 10 to 700 times to many more times if somebody intend to do a bad deed and he does not do it then Allah will write a full good deed in his account with him. If he tend to do meaning bad deed and actually did it, then Allah will write. It means that for good deed, for intention also you are rewarded. But for the bad deed, if you intend to do that bad deed but you didn't do it, Allah will forgive you. But you know actually if you do it that time, the bad deed will be written in your account. That's how Allah is so... Uh, uh, Raham, you know, he is so merciful. They ask you about secret month, about fighting there, 217 ayah. Fighting there in is a great sin, but averting people from the way of Allah and disbelief in him, preventing access to Masjid al-Haram and expulsion of its people there from our greater evil in the sight of Allah. So here in ayah number 217, yes, Aluka, Anishahr al-Haram, so here many times it happens that people commit great sins but then they they seek answers to minor petty issues we hurt other people and so on it's permissible people to kill so and so the fitna is greater than killing so person m must look at his own sins instead of spreading propaganda about genuine error of uh, other people so they will continue fight until they turn you back from your religion if they are able and whoever Avert you from this religion to disbelieve dies while he is a disbeliever because he is averting you. For those who their deeds have become worthless in this world and hereafter those are the companions of hellfire. They will be abide therein forever and ever. And here in ayah number 220. Uh, on this world and the hereafter they ask you about the orphans. Say to work for their good is good. وَالْيَتَامَ قُلْ إِسْلَاهٌ لَهُمْ قَيْرٌ If you do good, it is good for you. وَإِن تُقَالِتُوهُمْ فَإِخْوَانُكُمْ And if you ally with them jointly and they are after all your brethren. And Allah knows that one who makes mischief as distinct from the one who promotes good. If Allah had wished, he would have put you in trouble. Surely Allah is mighty and wise. So قُلْ إِسْلَاهٌ لَهُمْ قَيْرٌ وَإِن تُقَالِتُوهُمْ فَإِخْوَانُكُمْ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ الْمُفْسِدُ If you are creating مُفْسِد فَسَاد مِن مُسْلِ Instead of Isla, Allah knows وَلَوْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ آنَتْكُمْ And Allah knows whatever you do إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ حَكِيم Allah is mighty and wise. Let's move to ayah number 228 وَالْمُتَلَّقَاتُ Divorced women shall keep themselves waiting for three periods, that is lunar calendar. It is not permissible for them to conceal what Allah has created in their wombs. So, وَالْمُتَلَّقَاتَ يَتَرَبَّسْنَا بِأَنفُسِهِنَّ سَلَاسَةَ قُرْءُ سَلَاسَةَ قُرْءُ here means three menstrual periods depending on the lunar calendar, not solar. وَأَنفُسِهِنَّ وَلَا يَحِلُّ لَهُنَّ يَكْتُمُونَ بَا قَلَقَ اللَّهَ فِي أَرْحَامِ Like you know if you, if you are pregnant you can't conceal that you have to tell that إِن كُنَّ يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ If they believe in Allah and in the last day وَبُؤُولَتَهُنَّ أَحَقَّ Their husbands are best entitled to take them back you know but you know after that husband decided that he want to take them back this is between you know after three months, he can't. This is between one, two, or three. Okay? Ahaqqu biraddihi nafi zalika. And to take them back in the meantime, if they want a settlement, women have rights similar to what they owe in the recognized manner, though for men there is a step above them. Allah is mighty and wise. If you want to reconcile, you can. 
and then in ayah number 230 thereafter if he divorce her she is she shall no longer remain lawful for him you know he, he divorce unless she marries a man other than him should he to divorce her then there is no sin you know they got divorced now she can't marry the same person she has to get married to another person and he divorced willingly then she can marry the previous husband but it's not like a halala purposefully doing no there is no such thing like halala purposefully doing that is haram allah subhanahu wa ta'ala curse such kind of person returning to each if they think they would maintain the limit set by allah these are the limits set by allah that he makes clear to people who knows that allah is alone capable of setting the limit but you have you don't have to plan and you you have to do it no no such thing and in ayah number 234 it said um Yutawafauna, those among you who passed away and leave wives behind. Their wives keep themselves waiting for four months and ten days. So this is for widow. But for the divorce, how many months were there? Three months. But for the widow, how many are there? It is for Arbata, Ashura, wa Ashur. So it has to be four months and ten days. Again, lunar calendar. So when they have reached the end of their waiting period, there is no sin on you what they do for themselves in recognized manner. Allah is aware of what you do. It means like, you know, after four months, ten days, you want to get married or whatever. There is no sin on you. You can go ahead and do that. And here in ayah number 238, mm, ala salati Take due care of all the prayers and the middle prayer. This is Asr prayer. And let's stand before Allah in total devotion. Because Asr time we are so busy and you know you delay the prayer. No, do it on time. Ayah number 241. The divorced woman deserving a benefit according to the fair practice being an obligation on the god fearing means for divorced women is a provision according to what is acceptable meaning every woman who is divorced she should be given something that is a duty upon who the righteous if the meher was appointed talaq happened then again you have to give her something the meher was not appointed still you have to give something you must give something when two people are parting from each other even though both are angry emotional hurt Still, Allah says, give something. Because when you give something, you give a gift. Who is that? Like, you know, you were together for so long and now she is getting separated. You have to give something. Waqatilu fi sabilillahi. In ayah number 244, Waqatilu fi sabilillahi. Fight in the way of Allah and know that Allah is all hearing and knowing. And in ayah number 247, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقَالَ لَهُمْ نَبِيُّهُمْ The Prophet said to them, Allah has appointed Talud as a king for you. They said, how could he have kingship over us when we are more entitled to kingship than him? He has not been given affluence in the world. He, he said, Allah has chosen him over you and has increased his status in knowledge and physique. And Allah gives his kingship to whom he wills. Allah is embracing and knowing. So Allah can give king, kingship to anyone, you know, but they don't want to accept. But Allah said Allah can give to whom he wills. So here we see he has been given the uh, honor. And in here in ayah number uh, 249, So when Talut set out along with the troops, he said Allah is going to test you. He said, Ya Junudu means group of people. Kala innahu. Mubdili ko mubdili it's from bala ya blue they will be test with nahari faman shariba so by a river so whoever drinks from it not by my uh, man he said okay uh, this is a test for you there will be a river shariba minhu falaisa minni wa man lam and whoever does not taste it it's surely a man of mine except you can have handful of water illa man qarafa you know just handful of water then when they drank from it, except a few of them, so when it, the river has crossed by him, by those who believe with him, they said there is no strength with us today against Jalut and his troops. 
who don't have strength those who drank more water have you noticed when you drink more water like you feel like full tummy of water and you won't be able to do it and allah how many small groups have overcome large groups by the will of allah allah is with those who remain patient wallahu ma'as sabirin it was the hukum of allah and they didn't listen to him and this is how it was tested in ayah number 252 tilka ayatullahi natluha alayka bil haqq wa innaka la minal mursalin and these are the verses of allah that we recited to you o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with our veracity and certainly you are among the messengers you know these are the verses which are informed by wahi and this is how subhanakallahu ma bihamdi السلام علیکم و رحمتہ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو دعا نمبر ٹو ان شاء اللہ وی گو نوٹ ڈو دعا نمبر ٹو ایز آئی مینشن بفور اٹس ان بیا کا نستعین اینڈ فوٹریس آف مسلم لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود دعا نحمد و نسلی علیہ رسول کریم اما بعد فاؤز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی عمری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی سو ٹوڈیز دعا ریپیٹ After me, please. Allahu Akbar Kabira. Walhamdulillahi Kaseera. Wa Subhanallahi Bukratan Wa Aseela. Once again, Allahu Akbar Kabira. Walhamdulillahi Kaseera. Wa Subhanallahi Bukratan Wa Aseela. Allah is truly great. Praise be to Allah in abundance. Kaseera. And glory be to Allah in the morning and evening. So here, when we are saying Allahu Akbar Kabira, so uh, let's see step by step. The first thing we are asking here, Allahu Akbar Kabira. So Allah is very big, great, truly great, praiseworthy. So here we are saying about Kibriya, like, you know, greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is very great. He is the one who is great, like whatever we ascribe, he is great. You, you can't do shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He, he is great, Allahu Akbar Kabira, how great he is. And when we are saying, walhamdulillahi kaseera, hamd, next thing we are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hamd. And we have discussed about hamd in the previous dua, in the dua number one. If you missed it, you can go back and listen to that. It's uh, on YouTube too. And here we are giving thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also here when we are saying hamd, we are praising and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And next thing we are saying, Walhamdulillahi uh, kaseera wa subhanallah. Allah is praiseworthy. You know, we are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And three things we learn. First, kibriyai. Second, hamd. Third, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the things. And what we are saying in the end? Bukratam wa asila. Morning and evening. So this reminds me of, you know, uh, Sheikh Utaimi. He said, this morning, evening askar is like a protection. You know how protection it is? Uh, like how yeah, uh, the wall has been made. You all know in Surah Al-Kahf, how Zulkarnain made the wall. And they can't uh, climb that wall, Yajuj and Majuj. So that's how the strong wall it will be. The same way if you recite morning and evening duas, askar, that's how you will be protected protection from all the evil stuff all the bad things and you are having protection uh, from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so why don't we ask protection why don't we apply that protection isn't it it's a great protection and here we have to make our habit because it's a sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu he used to um, recite morning and evening duas but most important thing uh, there's a hadith uh, rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah, uh, like you know allah don't like the person asking dua with heedless heart you know you understand you are asking so many things and you are not you know attentive you are actually not um, asking but you are just you know habitually mentioning it so do it with you know concentration do it with the focus complete focus 
And as I mentioned before also, when you are reading or reciting dua, make sure please read the translation. Whether you are comfortable in English, Urdu, whatever the language you prefer, please read the translation so you understand what you are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just don't make habit just reading the duas. Try to understand. Don't you think like, you know, somebody is asking you something, but they don't know what they are asking? So we have to have that, you know, shaur. You, you, you should have that, uh, you should make sure what you are asking for, isn't it? So here, let's see the hadith regarding this. Uh, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, who uttered such and such words? Which words he is talking about? Allahu Akbar Kabira, Walhamdulillahi Kaseera, Wa Subhanallahi Bukratum Wasila. A person among the people said, it is I, O Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it surprised me. For the doors of the heaven were open for it. You know, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi is saying, I was surprised because the doors of the heaven were open for it. Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu said, I have not left saying then since I heard the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying this. This is in Sahih Muslim. So subhanallah, here the doors of the heaven are open. So this means all the barakah, all the rahma of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we all need that rahma and barakah, isn't it? We all need that. What is rahma? Mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there is one mercy in this world and 99 mercy, 99 rahma with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can enter Jannah. So we want mercy in this world and also in the hereafter. In Surah Al-Fatiha, uh, what we see? Uh, Rahman and Rahim, right? The same root word. So we want mercy, Raham. And also, not only mercy, uh, we, we want this reminder again and again, isn't it? With the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then only we can do the things which we want to. So you should add also baraka. Baraka is what? Abundance. Baraka. Khairu kasir. Khairu kasir. And you know, sometimes have you noticed, you know, uh, you, you make dinner and it's for the two people. And two more people joins you. And mashallah, you see the baraka in the food. You know, that's how the baraka is. So don't be stingy in your heart. You know, whatever Allah has given you, ask for the baraka. Allah put baraka in this. So that's the thing. So recite this dua, make it a habit, and Allah and praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As I mentioned before, like, you know, you can uh, recite this dua in morning, evening, as it is mentioned in the morning, evening askar, as well as whenever you want, you can do zikr all the time. So it will fill the mizan. So we want to fill the mizan. So Jazakallah khairan kaseera, subhanakallah. And this dua, yeah, let me remind one more thing. This dua is recited at the time of Eid, yes. Eden, both the Eid, we recite this dua, Allahu Akbar Kabira, and also at the time of, yes, the first 10 days of Zilhat. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiru kanat.